Hello, Derek Armson here, and today I've got something really technical for you. One of the things um, that I found extremely difficult in using ClickFunnels is how to work out uh, putting a subdomain in. And I was very fortunate to do a Zoom call with a bit of a techie expert, David Cox, last week, and he has kindly allowed me to share this on the website. So here we go, how to do subdomains in ClickFunnels. Let's go have a look. I can find the one I'm trying to look at. You need to share your screen first. Yeah, it's asking me to uh, pick a screen. So uh, okay. there we go. Right, we're in. We're in. So this is um, my GoDaddy account. Right. And these are the these are the domains which I've collected through GoDaddy in some way, shape, or form. Okay. Um, are any of them any of them age domains that have any trust flow at the moment? Just out of interest. Any what, sorry? Any of them age domains or do they have any trust flow or page authority at the moment or not? No, I don't understand that. So probably the answer is no, or it might be yes. <laughs> I, you know, if, I, if I understood the question, then I would... Uh, okay, we'll, we'll yeah. cover that in SEO next uh, week A week today. I'm doing, I'm doing SEO a week tonight. Yeah, there's none, no, I've done no work on SEO whatsoever. Okay, well, we'll, we'll, do, we'll do that a week on Monday. All right then. Um, so the one I've been working on is this one, which is um, uh, reducer.international. And if I go to manage that, then it takes me in. I'm not sure I'm in the right place here, but... Um, so you're doing some setup work on the domain here to bring it um, into ClickFunnels, is that right? Correct, yeah. Um, okay. So, uh, no, I shouldn't go there because it's got my private address in it, which is not good. So I'll, 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 I'll blur that, that out. out. Yeah. Um, so DNS is what I'm looking for. So are, are you familiar with DNS? Yeah. Domain naming service? Yeah. 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 Okay. And, and this is a... I haven't touched this domain at all yet, but I did. Um, uh, I've introduced it to ClickFunnels earlier on, and oh, what yeah. ClickFunnels ask you to do on a domain that they're going to be using, it part of their system, mm -hmm. is to change the www entry under C name to target.clickfunnels.com. So ah. it's it's that line there which is the key key one. So if I click on the edit button and take mm -hmm. this ampersand out, this goes yeah. to target dot click dot com and um leave time as it as it is and go and save. So that's in there now. Um so anybody going to www.reducer.international, mm. there's no dot, international is a top level domain. So it's uh, simple as that really. Um, you know, it could have been .com or .co.uk yeah, or sure. .net, .org, any, any of those. But this one is actually .international. So if anybody goes to www.reducer.international, then they will go to the funnel that I set up or I will be setting up in um, in ClickFunnels. Right. So, so it's, like, it's like a read a domain redirect. Uh, yes, but it's there's a fudge in this, which is the way that ClickFunnels handle um, the whole domain forwarding um, aspect of, of what we're talking about here. Um, so if I go into um, ClickFunnels, that's the um, that's the funnel that I've set up, which is a, a, a template that I've got running on my system anyway. And yeah, you yeah, see yeah. that my my account is www.clickfunnels.com forward slash bloody bloody blah. Yeah. Well, bloody bloody blah is not really important, but that is what the, this bit gets. here. ClickFunnels just depends that, doesn't it? 
Uh, yes, it does. No, yeah. you, can, you can edit that. Um, whether we can or not on this, I'm not sure. But let me. Uh, so that that's the one that we'll that we'll use. Mm. Um, if I go to another bit of ClickFunnels, these are the domains that I've got registered with ClickFunnels. Right. And you'll see that the top level, the domain name, the basic domain name, if I call it the domain, has mm. always got www dot on the front. Right. And if you go just to this one, let's say davidcoxint.com, hmm. then you wouldn't, it wouldn't work. It has to have the www on the front in order for it to work with, right? with ClickFunnels. So Ooh, if you're doing a link, you, you need to put the www on the front of it. So, if, yeah, if you, okay. Now, the one I did this morning was www.retusa.international. Hmm. Now, I haven't verified that and then because it just takes time to work through. If you go back to GoDaddy, then um, these are the name servers where it puts entry into it. Now, this yeah. used to take hours and hours and hours and days in order for it to work its way it's through the system. Yeah. I'm hoping yeah, yeah. that since I did it at about midday, that it's actually worked its way through. But that's, uh, that's why it takes so long. So if I go back to this and I click on um, verify, can I do this? Isn't it the dots at the end? Uh, it could be. I hear you. Verify. So did that work? Yes, it did. Okay, so that's now verified. So it's worked its way through. The yeah. DNS uh, servers at the GoDaddy end. Now, if I go back into the domain again, um, and that's not quick. I mean, it's not instantaneous. Let's put it that way. I don't. I don't really know how long it takes these days, but um, it's it's variable, to say the least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then, if I go into uh, there, there is a way of setting up the default page, the 404 error page. These are like all all of the defaults that. If they can't find the link that they're going to, it will send them to the default page. Will be this one. Now I haven't associated this with a with a funnel yet, so it's not talking to me. But the one that I need to change is this one, which is SSL. So you can add SSL, and that's part of the uh, ClickFunnels system. So the certificate that they apply to your website is with a certificate organized by click funnels so if i add that in then it's coming up with success behind the picture oh so they just automatically add ssl to any of your the domains you set up you can ask for it you have to ask for it like i had to click the button to say do it but it did it but right. it will only do it on a verified domain name right 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 so if I go back to uh, domain, this is back to um, GoDaddy. Yeah. And I want to, let's say I'm, I'm running Retusa.International, but I want to have subdomains like it might be UK.Retusa.International, uh, it might be USA. Yeah. Or it might be um, Derek. Or yep. David dot or whatever, then for that I need to add another C name record. So if I click on add, and the type is going to be C name, and the host, I'll put it in as Derek if I may take the liberty. Yeah, go for it. Um, and um, that's going to point to target.clickfunnels.com right and that's true for all of the subdomains so you can have as many subdomains as you like but they all got a point at target.clickfunnels.com yep 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 now at the moment this isn't part of clickfunnels.com now there's something that you have to be careful of here and that is that clickfunnels have got names that are involved and some examples of that are um, dot com secrets right expert secrets 
yeah. uh, click funnels itself, and there's a whole list. Before tonight, or part of this process, I'll try and find the list and put it out there. There's a list of about 12 or 15 names that click funnels will not allow. And I yeah. found that the hard way because I'm trying to sell uh, free plus shipping books on the dot com secrets, but I couldn't add it in um, as a as a subdomain. They just they just wouldn't do it. So yeah. I had to go back to DNS and then um, then change it. So if I save that, then that's added it in as a C name um, down the bottom here. Right. But that all of these subdomains are called target.clickfunnels.com. And ClickFunnels themselves are treating www like a subdomain. Now, that's, that's so well and good because when I get back to uh, ClickFunnels and I'm into account settings, I've got the domain in there. But um, if I go back to domains, what I now want to do, and it's behind the picture, let's see if I can, this works out okay. Um, I'm going to add the subdomain in, which I would have to do to, uh, yeah. to make this work. And it's using an existing domain. Yeah. And can you see it comes up with www on yeah. the front? Can you see that? Now, yeah. on the subdomain, that has to come out because <laughs> www is going to a different subdomain. Yeah, yeah, no, got it. And, and, and that took a long time to sort out with... Um, so you were putting www.derek. Uh, if you put www.derek.retusa international, it would it not work. work. It it's different to, because it's different it's to the C different. name record. Correct. It's yeah. having a look at www and seeing so, as being something completely different. Yeah, no, so got it. The, the actual domain is Derek dot R E T U S A dot national. Boom. Add domain. And now it's going back to the DNS settings to see whether that is a genuine domain or not, which it is. Mm -hmm. So you can click on I've done that step because I've just did it. And, um, and then it's got to have a funnel to associate with it. Uh -huh. And now I'm going back to Derek's test funnel. Right. Which is the one I set up with um, dot com secrets on it. Click on associate funnel. And um, there we go. So when we go back and look at that funnel. So if we go back and look at this funnel. And re refresh that. And refresh all this. It should come up with Derek this time. Hey, there we go. So there it is. There it's in. And, um, and then you can change it on settings so your landing page yeah you can send it in here and you can also in here now i'm not absolutely click perfect on this um but um spencer meacham did a, a session on a on youtube about the differences between the different settings if you set up a domain now he was very quick and he didn't cover all the little salient points but um, you can actually go to the um, that one there, and that's called opt-in, and the path yeah. is that one, and you can put anything you like in there. So you can put, uh, I could put Derek in there, and yeah. update the page. And then that would, and then, and then you rest. can, if you go to forward slash Derek, then it will take you straight to that page. Yeah, if you refresh that, will it change it on... In ClickFunnels, I haven't. Uh, well, this is ClickFunnels. That's what I mean. If you refresh that, would, would it come up, uh, Derek? Here? Uh, no, because it. Oh well, I've got to save it actually. So, sorry, it's. Um, uh, let me. Oh, you need to go back and save it in settings. I've got to, I've got to save it in. Um, yeah, actually, that one I, I don't think I do need to save to be honest. But that's. Um, I think it's done it. Let me let me go back and have another look. Yeah, it's still yeah. there. 
So we're, we're, we're good on that. Um, and then metadata wise, then it's uh, into edit page. Yeah. And settings SEO metadata. metadata. Yeah. So my header is David Cox trainer and um, page description. I can put in Retuser rocks. And if this works, then you should be able to find it on a Google search. By searching Retuser rocks. After, yeah. Let's, should we see if we can do that? Well, let, let me see. I'm going to save it. It, it, it should propagate fairly quickly. Depends how, how often. Um... Well, this is what I did the other day, and it took. It, it certainly did it within twenty four hours. Whether it yeah. will do it now is another matter. Hang on a second. Let let me just go to a Google search. So hold fire there. David Cox. Oops. Trainer. Retusa rocks, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, you ready for this? Do you want me to share my screen? <laughs> Can we do this live? Uh, yeah, go on then. <laughs> uh, how do we share screen here? Share. I, I need to stop sharing mine, then you can do it. Okay, go on. Just stop sharing yours for a minute. Okay. There you go. Share. Screen, share. Okay, now you can see it there. Okay, this is, this is live. Okay, go for it. YouTube, LinkedIn. No, it's not, it, it, I wouldn't worry about that because that's not propagated across the internet yet. And this is all a bit early, isn't it? Yeah. So I, I mean, my, we could my, sort of check it every hour. We'll do it on the, on the, on the thing tonight and see. Let, uh, we'll yeah, let, let me just show, show you this while we're here. Authority Digital Burkhams did. So I've, see, this is my digital marketing, um, authority digital website, and okay. that's what's coming up in Google. Okay. But if I go to the website, let's put it on a different page. Here's the website. Now I changed this on Friday. Um, so if I go to SEO Quake and do um, a diagnosis on that you can see that the actual page title is SEO services search engine optimization UK Berkhamsted whereas Google is propagating as authority uh, digital marketing okay and uh, SEO quake saying search engine optimization is raging so you can see that it's not propagated across the internet correctly yet it's not instantaneous and when, when did you know it's that? not so I, I changed that on Friday afternoon. Okay. And so that, that's not propagated across properly yet. So okay. it, it just, it, sometimes it takes a few days. What you can do is if, you go, if you've got Google sitemaps in the back of your site, just go in um, and resubmit the sitemap. See, when I did a, a Google search on, you know, forget about the reducer rocks bit, but when I did a search the other day on David Cox Trainer, then it came up with my Facebook page and it came up with... Um, yeah, that's what came up I, here. I think my, um, my YouTube channel. I think. Yeah, that's, that's what came up one and two on the, yeah. the David Cox routine. There is another David Cox in this world, one of millions, but he's also <laughs> an IT trainer, so um, oh, he, right. he, uh, he turns up. So I've well, been that's, that's, that's where having a name like Derek Armson is advantageous because I'm, I'm the only one I know. Yeah, well, it is... If Google, if Google, you are the only one that Google knows, then only you cracked it, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's 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 really good. That's a lovely little bit of training, actually. So, um, so does if, that make sense then? The subdomain bit. Yeah, absolutely. Yep, yeah, got it now. Yeah, I, I have I have set one up, but it was a grainy process, and I had to keep going to support to get it done. So that's good. So we'll keep that keep that yeah, training for posterity. You just need to keep it in your mind that this www thing is treated as a subdomain by click funnels mm. and it's a um, bit of a fudge because um if you miss the www out of your links then it won't work on the on the, on the domain name 
Yeah, um, yeah, no, that, if, I, I, I get uh, that. If you put www in front of your subdomain, that won't work either because it's, uh, it just takes you through to uh, 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 the basic click funnel site. Because mm. it looks no, just, like www. Just as an aside, I've found out what the problem is on mine. Google Analytics isn't working. It's not connected. Mm -hmm. Okay. No. No, yeah. David, that's brilliant. Um, if you um, whiz me a co across a copy of the video when it's done on Dropbox or something like that, yeah. uh, then I'll, um, I'll, I'll put it up on my website and just let me know what link you want me to put on there for people to refer to you. Yes, okay. I'll, uh, I'll sort that out. I'll leave the video with me. I'll, what I'll do is I'll take the whole front end off and, um, okay. and then record, the, record what's left. Well, it'll have to record all of it because that's the way it works. Yeah. With, uh, um, so I think you need to stop sharing your screen. Yeah. Hang on. Uh, stop share. There we go. And right. I'll see you, uh, see you later on tonight. Yeah, I mean, this is one for Al and Pat, really, because their, their domain, as far as I know, doesn't have a, sorry, their funnel does have a word name associated with it, mm -hmm. which is maybe not something. And I can but tell you for free that the, the training on LCRC for doing this is, leaves a lot to be desired. Yeah. Um, but there we go. Mm. Right, right. That's, that's it then. Pretty See you later. Great. See you later. Cheers. All the best. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye. When you go to settings right here, we can do all kinds of good things. So this is where you'll choose your domain. So what, you know, what, uh, what, basically what website, right? What's, what's it going to show up here? The default is going to look weird like that. Buildapreneur slash app, but clickfunnels.com, something like that. And you obviously want it to look a lot better than that. And so this says, what domain do you want it to be on? <clears throat> and later on in the video, I'll show you how you can actually get domains into your account so that you can do this. You can see. ClickFunnels has a, uh, access to tons of different uh, domains currently in my account. Um, but so that's where you'll select the domain for the funnel that it's all going to be hosted on. Uh, if you do any kind of Facebook or Google tracking, that can all be done right there as well. And uh, the last thing you want to know about is A-B testing. So you can see this opt-in page is right here. This is the opt-in page. But we can actually tell ClickFunnels that we want to test something. For example, I might say, I don't like the headline on that on this funnel, but I'm not sure you know that mine's any better. And so I can click create variation and I can create uh, just a, a duplicate of that page and then I can tweak the headline on my duplicate, okay? So I can, I can take my duplicate and it's loading here for a second and I can edit it and say something slightly different that I think might work better. You know, I can say uh, masterclass. I don't know what you'd say there. There's a bunch of different things you could say, but um, that's that's where we would do that, and it's called A/B testing. And then that can give us a we can you know as we start sending traffic, we can get a better idea of you know how our what marketing message is actually working better with people. Okay, so I always recommend A/B testing on that first page to see you know which message gets more people to put in their email address. And when we go to our stats, it will actually tell us. We can go into stats, and I'm not going to have any stats on this particular funnel right now, but. We can go to opt-in page and you can see I've got a control and a variation and it'll say, hey, you know, you sent 50 people there, um, you know, 49 of them were unique and this is the rate of people that actually opted in. And on your variation, you know, hopefully I was right and my variation was higher, then we can, it'll say, you know, 90, 93% of people actually put in their email address on your variation page. And I'm like, awesome, I'm clearly really good at marketing. Okay, so we talked about A-B testing, we talked about where to put in tracking links, where to find your stats, and where to choose the URL for your entire funnel. Where is it all gonna be hosted? Um, next, I wanna talk about the URL structure in general. And this is where things get really confusing. <laughs> so, and this is where a lot of people, like I get questions about this in my group and um, in my email, and all the time, this is where people get lost. So, you choose a URL for the entire funnel, right? That's what we did right here in settings. We also choose a path for the entire funnel. And what a path is, is this part right here, okay? So clickfunnels.com slash whatever comes after that is called your path. So for this funnel, we could choose the path of um, example funnel for YouTube, okay? And then we choose a domain, which is go.buildapreneur.com. That's the domain I've already set up, and we'll talk about that later. So now I've selected the path for the main funnel. If anybody goes to this link right here, go.buildapreneur.com slash example funnel for YouTube, 
it's going to take them to the first step in this funnel. Okay, whatever that first step is at the current time, that's where it's going to take them. You can get that link by clicking this right here. So we're going to go do that. And then what you can see here is another domain. Okay, so we've gone to settings. And we've done that. But over here, it's going to show this and that's the actual uh, URL for this domain, right for this particular step in the funnel. Okay, so this will always go to this step in the funnel. And then it will send them to either this page or this page. Okay, depending on, on this, we tell it fifth, usually I say 50 50 Send half the traffic here, half the traffic here for our test, right? So that's what this 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 uh, URL is going to do. And we can even test it right here. Boom, there it is. Okay, it took us two. Well, they're the same right now, so it doesn't matter. Um, but that's what that URL will do. You can change that because once again, you want it to look clean, right? You can see it's not very clean right now. Right here, you can change the settings. Wow, I don't know what's going on with ClickFunnels right now. But you can change that right here and change the path again to, I usually say like step, you know, um, YouTube video step one. That's how I like it to look. And then I would update my funnel step. Okay, so now you can see it updated and that will always send people there. Now guess what? There's another third URL you can send people to because this one will send them either to this control page or this control page, right? <laughs> well, if we click these settings right here, we can actually choose the link for the exact control page, okay? So that first link that we select right here, this is where people get confused, this link is going to send people directly to whatever, to this whole funnel, okay? This link, which is right here, will always send people to the first step in the funnel, but it will send them to one of these two pages. Finally, the final link, which is the actual page, is this one right here, and we can say step one v1, which is like version one, right? I know it sounds confusing, but that is the actual one that people are going to see. Okay, where does that sound? So that is the actual URL that people are going to see up here. So watch, if we go to this now, we highlight that. You can see up here it says step one v1 because that's the actual page we sent them to, right? That's this page. So this URL will send people to here, which is this URL. That URL will send people either to this URL or this URL, and that is the final URL. So we'll want to, at the very least, name these URLs to look clean and pretty because that's what our audience will see. Okay. Now, I talked about URLs for way longer than I wanted to, but I, people get so confused with all this stuff. They're like, hey, I, I changed the URL up here and it still says something, you know, it looks so weird up here. How do I fix that? So now you understand that. Let's dive in and talk about the editor. Okay, this is the, the actual editor of each individual. Page.